back everyone. We are back on the dyno, as we said. We are doing some tweaks down here with the Lionel Build Boys. We've got the calibration switch to finish off. Uh, it wasn't working fully at Cadwell, so we're just making some tweaks to that. And there was still a little bit of headroom left, uh, boost rising in the turbo to push a little bit more. So if we get a chance, we'll do that. As you can see, the, it's an absolutely glorious day. It's 27 degrees or something in the dyno. So not great for pushing numbers, but we're not particularly bothered about that. Just looking to look, make a few tweaks to the graph and see what improvements can be made and uh, build on that. So let's go have a look what's going on. was done successful down the dyno we have sorted all the issues with the cow switch so we've got now all 10 positions work we've also gained some power and not had any boost which is pretty good because in the weather as well the inlet temps in the dyno cell have been 28 degrees so it's not great the car's reading 40 degrees inlet temp so once they start to come down as well power should go up a little bit but we've gained 26 horsepower at the wheels and 10 pounds feet of torque so that should be a nice game for us to see on the circuit. Now, we've found a few more little changes to make. You never know, we may come back to the dyno again this year. If not, certainly will be for next year. Got some testing to do, and then we'll make some changes and see how that works. So keep a watch out for that. We'll be out testing again in two weeks' time. We're going back to Blyton for half a day. We're going to take some settings and get some base readings, and then we'll apply the changes and see what we get in response. So that's us done here, we're going to get loaded up now, get gone, we're going to enjoy the rest of the bank holiday weekend. So we will see you on the next video. Take care everyone, see you later.